Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video earlier last week regarding the latest optional update that rolled out for Windows 11 KB5011563. And if you did apply that update, you can now finally set your default browser with one click. And if we just head to the settings menu, apps, default apps, as many of you uh, will know, if you did apply that update and what I did mention in that previous video, which I will leave a link to down below if you're interested. Um, if we just head to, as an example, Microsoft Edge, before that update rolled out, you had to change each protocol of a web browser of your choice to set it as default or an app of your choice to set it as default, um, which could be quite a mission and quite a tedious process to go through. Now, after applying KB5011563, as, as I did mention in that previous video, um, a set default button was added, which lets you just click on that button. And basically, in one click, you can set a browser or app of your choice uh, to become that default app or browser in Windows 11. Now, although this is a move in the right direction, um, as we can see in this example, I've set Google Chrome um, as my default browser, but there are still certain protocols that are still assigned to and that are used by Microsoft Edge. Now, uh, Mozilla, the makers of the Firefox web browser, have, have spoken out about this uh, recently in a statement. And they have said, although this is a move and a step in the right direction by Microsoft, more can still be done uh, for users who use uh, the operating system to set uh, the default apps and browsers of their choice as default. And they have said in the statement, and I'm going to quote this, Microsoft's changes that improve the default browser setting experience for users are a step in the right direction, as I just mentioned. They carry on to say, but more can be done to respect default browser choice on Windows. People should have the ability to simply and easily set defaults and all operating systems should offer official developer support for default status. In practice, we'd like to also see progress on reducing the number of steps required to set a new browser as default and on opening and making APIs available for apps to set default that other Microsoft applications use. And I personally do agree with that statement where although this is a move in the right direction, I feel um, that Microsoft can do more for users of, of Windows 11 uh, to set default apps and browsers as the default apps and browser of their choice in the operating system. And at this stage, um, Microsoft has given no indication or has made no announcement that further changes are on the way regarding um, setting default apps and um, browsers in Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.